Good day. Welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob. <clears throat> Yesterday, we performed an in-depth dive into how we might start off uh, each one of us, our days, uh, on what I think of as the right foot. <clears throat> More specifically, what we looked at is, is what we take into our minds and spirits first thing each day. Now, if you're already in the habit of sound nourishment to, to mind and spirit, and if you do that every morning, then count yourself truly fortunate that so many of us neglect this critical dimension of our overall well-being nearly every single day. So let me ask you, what did you discover? I'm curious to know if you've identified some vitality signs in your own life that you could track, which the kinds of, and what we're calling vitality signs are the kinds of things that we can do, behaviors and attitudes that truly feed our best selves. And how about starting off right at the beginning of the day, like what I shared with you yesterday? You know, just as we make sure to feed our physical bodies, you know, with, with good food, literally, but also regular exercise, sufficient rest, ways to manage our stress, even our, our body's muscular tension. Just as we do that, we need also to remember and I believe ideally every day, that our minds and spirits need the same kind of loving attention. And while we're on this topic of spirituality, when we think of spiritual selves, I tend to think of, the, of spirituality this way. Uh, it's that domain or those domains in our lives that center around our deepest values, our sense of life purpose, whatever it is that provides our core meaning and hope. <clears throat> And each of us fills in that spiritual component in our lives with our own unique content. I think for some people, this involves tra traditional religious forms, and that works wonderfully for them. For others, non-traditional routes to spiritual development feel better suited to them. So it's a matter of customizing, finding what works for you. So for today's homework assignment, I'd like each of us to pause a moment or two in order to identify those spiritual resources in your life, in my life, which are themselves vitality signs. That is, they point us in the direction of our centermost values, our sense of purpose, our deepest personal meaning. What I want to do is come back the next couple of posts and look at these, uh, uh, these vitality signs. Uh, and, and we'll be looking at them enough so that we can begin to implement regular practice of them. That's the goal. And then what I want to do after that is I want to work on how do we incorporate these spiritual goals, these spiritual aspirations into our most uh, important relationships? Remember, we are aiming to build in a whole smorgasbord, a whole array of core vitality signs here. And I think we're already well on our way. <laughs> Thanks for joining me here at the Vitality Project. Stay healthy, be well. I look forward to seeing you again here soon. Bye-bye for now.